Martinez here with Desert Television, your peer-run school-wide student news program, and I'll be bringing you the latest about your school. Today is Friday, May 16th in the beautiful year of 2014, and this is our 15th and final broadcast of the year, so let's get rolling. You just saw DV Tunes with Sergio Tabanico, Desert View's resident jazz expert who recently got accepted into Brubeck Summer College Colony, where he'll get the chance to practice and perform with many other awesome artists. Next up, we have our events portion of the show with our activity segment covering the AP testing that's been going on the past few weeks, the artist showcase that went on this past Monday, and the senior dinner that went on this Wednesday. And then we'll head on over to the sports segment where we have a special little video courtesy of your Jaguar tennis team. Let's sit back and check it out. The AP testing has been active for the past few weeks, giving its challenges a tough look into university-level academics. Hundreds of students took various tests to try and get their delicious college credit. The On the Question of Race showcase was held on May 12th to honor Kay Claw and the amazing artwork he created to signify his diversity as not only an individual, but as a human being. He was being honored by our superintendent and congressman Raul Grijalva in anticipation for his trip to D.C. where his art will be hung in the White House for a year, an opportunity only given to a select number of students. He will also meet the president and sightsee on the all-expense-paid trip that was granted to him. Congratulate this amazing artist on his awesome work. Well, I mean, we're, I mean, we're amazed when he was putting his, um, his artwork together. I mean, I mean, it seems like it, he got the idea. I don't know where he got the idea, really. But I mean, just I mean, it was, I, I realized it was part of a like a, an assignment. But just from I mean, we saw it from his first letter that he wrote in the corner of the the whole page, and just seeing that progress, you know, through until he was finished was was amazing. I mean, art's always been a part of each one of our kids' life. I mean, even his. Older sister who's in college now. Yeah, she's like done the um, violin. violin and spent yeah. in different I mean, types of fine arts. Um, Kate's, um, I think the everybody in our family, I think he's got had an influence from everybody in our family. So like um, I used to draw and do a lot of things. So like some of the things that I learned, I you know would teach him when he was really young, and he's actually perfected it <laughs> uh, a lot. You know he's got surpassed what I had learned. And then Ryan's like really into music and videos and and producing different things and so that was an easy thing for him to learn from his father and we've gotten our younger kids involved in that too just you know just like as a something for the family to do and something that um, we can all learn from each other yeah yeah I think we we've realized having a balance of you know art and just you know the other side more of the the math or the traditional types of education, but balancing that with art, we've always felt it was um, important. Yeah. Seniors from around the school gathered on May 13th one last time before graduation to sit down for their senior dinner and stuff their faces while enjoying one another's presence. Fun presentations were shown and our students had a nice time together. Farewell seniors, you will be missed for a few weeks or whatever. 
Two teams, one winner. Our tennis team clashes when the students challenge the coaches to a first to ten, no holds barred match. Do the coaches still have it in their aging bodies to defeat their trainees, or will the students show them how to get schooled? See who claims victory. <laughs> yeah, that fat one and that old one ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that is a little mean. I got Coach Lee. What can I say? Well, I think the one has a hard time seeing over the net, so. shining our faces it looks better this direction uh -huh. right for you guys don't yeah. need a light maybe you can show these cracks how old are you again yeah Jeez, how these, much do you uh, weigh earthquake uh vault lines yeah that's what i thought that's what i thought years old I remember going wait when was that when the dinosaurs were alive right uh, no, yeah when were you five feet tall five days ago yeah That's five right. days ago when you're born what about, um, okay. way less than 200 pounds? Uh, every day uh-huh yeah besides today yeah uh -huh. <laughs> definitely okay we could keep going but <laughs> we, don't want, we don't want to see little girls cry but, okay Oscar uh, don't, don't cry I know Oscar don't cry <laughs> <laughs> you want to do boys and girls yeah why don't we do that there's only one girl, girl too. Okay. <laughs> oh, here you go away the coaches proved to be too great for their students. To see the next match, go to our YouTube right now and check out the intense girls tennis team versus the boys tennis team face off. It's a home run. It's it's a it's a touchdown field goal. Go watch it, it's pretty awesome. testers out there did well on those tough exams and congratulations to Cade Claw for his stellar artwork which will be displayed at the White House. Cade is also being honored by Mr. Obama during his upcoming trip to DC. Oh and congratulate you Jaguar Tennis for being some of the best players and coaches in the city. Let's step on over to the academic portion of the show with your college prep segment telling us about the many misconceptions about community college and why it might be a better choice than your typical university. After that, the club segment will show off Desiree's National Honor Society. They'll tell us a bit about their prestigious group of overachievers and how it contributes to their future education. Well, check those out right now.
¿Cómo está Saguares? Y usted está viendo la edición final de preparación para la universidad y estoy aquí para decirte todo para acerca de las muchas a diez erróneas sobre la universidad de comunidad. According to Google Translate, that means how you doing Jaguars? You're watching the final edition of College Prep and I'm here to tell you all about the many misconceptions about community college. We'll start off with the obvious one. A community college degree isn't as good as a university degree. Well, community colleges can actually take you straight into the workforce or to a bigger four-year university. 62% of allied health professionals and over 80% of law enforcement officers and firefighters receive their degrees from community colleges. Seeing how most of us aren't dead yet, I think that's a pretty good statistic. People may say you're attending a community college because you couldn't afford the university or make it. Some may even say that because it's less expensive, it's not the same quality of the education. Well, just because this stupid looking food dish is expensive, doesn't mean that it's any more delicious than this dollar taco, or this burger, or Man, I'm hungry. The curriculum is often more in-depth at these community colleges, as the classroom sizes are smaller and are able to focus with the individual students. Also, the price thing? Come on, why shell out $20,000 a year at this dumb place? Or, or this stupid dumb place? When you could pay one single measly thousand at this beautifully luscious campus. Community colleges have low academic standards. I'm a, I'm a dummy. You actually have to take rigorous tests even enroll in these college-level classes, which offer the same challenging courses given at any other university. It's 100% the frustration for a fraction of the price. Wow, what a deal! Also, some students fear that their credits won't transfer over once they want to move to the bigger university. Well, more and more courses are being developed and improved just for this purpose. So fear not. Just do some darn research and plan your years out to be both academically satisfying and cost effective. I guess you shouldn't judge a book by a hard you knock on the cover before you try it. Save yourself some of that hard-earned cash and visit your local community college today for some insight on their programs. Also, I hope you enjoy these stupid things all year. They're a huge pain to produce. Farewell, my college-bound amigos. Hopefully we never see each other again. Bye! And now, a word from your proud principal of Desert View High School. This is Mr. Castellan with a few final words as we close out the 2013-2014 school year. First of all, I want to say I'm very proud to be your principal and I'm very proud of all of you students. With a few weeks left and finals coming here pretty quickly, I want all of you to prepare and make sure that you do well on these finals. To close out the year very strong, so study, work hard, and you will be successful. To our seniors, I want to say that I'm very, very proud of you and I can't wait for graduation night as I shake your hand and hand you your diploma and wish you well into a new beginning for you as many of you will be going on to colleges, many of you will be pursuing different careers. We are confident that you will be successful. Please continue to work hard. Please continue to do the things that have gotten you here today in this position of earning your diploma. For incoming freshmen, we are excited that you are gonna now become Jaguars and be a part of this great school and community. There is so much for you, but grades are so, so important. So it's important that you get off to a good start and recognize that you need 22 credits to graduate. And last but not least, I wanna thank our amazing teachers, our amazing administrative staff, because Without you, this wouldn't be a successful year. Students, have a wonderful summer and be safe. Thank you. here at Desert View High School. It is the end of my fourth year as an English teacher. Usually I'm split between sophomores and juniors. This year I have all sophomores and next year the word on the street is that I will have all juniors. In addition to teaching English, I also work with Miss Schroeder, who is another English teacher here, to advise our on-campus chapter of National Honor Society or NHS. Uh, our NHS students are recognized for their scholarship, their leadership, their character, and their service to the community. So anytime there's a Red, Red Cross blood drive, those are our NHS students who put that on. We do food drives, we do um, other community service events. For example, they do work with Habitat for Humanity a few times throughout the year. Um, in the spring is when we recruit for members for NHS and students need to have a 3.25 GPA. They need to have some leadership experience with various on-campus activities such as band, orchestra, clubs, sports, ROTC. 
We also look to see that students are involved with community service because community service is a big part of the organization. And then they also need to have good character. So they need to be upstanding role models and not be just good students, but also have that upstanding character. So students who are on time, uh, model students, respectful and mature. So thank you for watching Desert View TV and have a good day. Community College is not something to look down on at all. Two astronauts and the famous Star Wars director, George Lucas, all graduated from community colleges and obviously went on to be so successful. So if you ever want to go to space or make six, I mean three good space films, then sign yourself up. Also, if you think you have what it takes to be in our school's NHS program, then consider applying and becoming a part of their society. Now we have the student life portion of the show with a special video segment from our favorite chef, Joey Jewel. Then another Campus Canvas segment with our artist Nikki Goldstone coming in here to tell us all about some of the art that she creates in DV's art class. Let's see it all right here. Welcome guys to Cooking with Jewel. Um, this is Culinary Arts program here at Desert View. What we're going to be doing, I'm going to take you into the lab. Got a really unique um, lab experience going on today. My kids are practicing uh, doing their knife cuts with uh, fresh meats. So we're doing uh, raw chicken breast today. And then we're going to do their knife cuts. And then they're also going to create a homemade batter because we're actually doing a deep fry unit, which is one of the necessary um, cooking um, uh, methods for culinary arts. So if you follow me, we'll come check out the action. Real quick heads up, guys. Remember, you're doing deep frying cooking method today. So first step is what? Preheat your oil. You need it to be 350. Okay, we're gonna start with 350, no hotter. Okay, and then we may have to tweak it and adjust it down. I usually try to keep it between 325 and 340. Since we did a couple days of some sweet batters and doughs, we're just kind of switching gears a little bit where you can still practice a batter, but I want them to get real hands-on experience uh, cutting fresh, raw meats. Because I want to show them that my motto always is, as fresh is best. I, I said on the recipe it's similar to pancake batter, but not similar in thickness. Not only are they, like I said again, they're practicing uh, with their knife cuts, cutting up fresh raw chicken, but we're also, since we're doing a deep frying lab, they're doing a homemade batter. But at this point, what these ladies need help with, we got, have to check the consistency of the batter. Because you can't per se go by exact recipe when it comes to batters, because we have to check the consistency to see if it's thick enough that it's going to work in the fryer. Okay, so come over here, ladies. Let me show you. Looks like you guys got it whisked up really good, no lumps. Okay, so here's what I mean by a line test, guys. It's real simple. You don't want to use a whisk. You want to use a knife or like a wooden skewer as this, and you simply take your skewer, rake it through. Now you see how your line's disappearing, how the it's it's flowing back together. You, it's not ready, so that means you need a little bit more flour. What you want to do is divide it. You're going to take your chef's knife and just cut those in two, all right? And then it's simply just a matter of going around and trimming off the excess fat, and then be thinking about what type of cut do you want to do. Do you want to do chicken tenders, or do you want to do more like a nugget? But just whatever cut you do, uh, you got to be precise, okay? So meaning if you go with a half inch on one piece, the next cut needs to be about a half an inch as well. That way it's gonna uh, fry up evenly, okay? And then we gotta do a temp check on your chicken. Yeah, one more reminder guys, remember, uh, with chicken you do not want your oil too hot. You have got to monitor the temp, okay? Start with 350. Um, I'm Nikki, and I'm interested in art because my whole family does it. I'm influenced because my dad and my mom draw, and they push me to come even better. And I chose that picture because I thought it was cute and really detailed, so I chose it. I've been drawing, I don't know, like a long time. I was little, but I was never this good. I like, just started doing this good, like maybe a couple years ago. Practice makes perfect, and if it doesn't come out right, you can always fix it. 
and don't put yourself down if it doesn't come out right the first time. You can always try again. Um, not really. I mean, cartoons, yeah. Those are easy to draw. Like, I'm the type of person that can't just, like, draw something on my own. I have to look at it and see it. I created a Wabi Sabi, and it's hung up in the library. Um, painting, because I suck at painting. I can only draw. <laughs> I think so, because... I'm gonna be a chef, and there's art and cooking, so there's like designs. This has been Ari Martinez with DBTV. I hope you enjoyed our little show all year long. It's been fun bringing you the latest about your school, so be sure to stay tuned in and continue telling all your friends about us. Remember, DBHS stands for diversity, vision, honor, and success. You can follow these by being kind and courteous to your peers. To our incoming freshmen, you're in for an awesome four years. To our current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, I hope you continue to enjoy our lovely school. And to all of your seniors, good luck out there. I'm sure you all can't wait to be freshies again in college. I'll leave you with the entertainment segment of the show. To close out the year, we have one last rapping video. I'll see you around, Jaguars. And remember, keep on staying classy. Hey guys, I figure I filmed this end bit to be sentimental to the end of the show, blah, 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 and to cut down on editing time that would have otherwise been really freaking annoying. So, let's get rolling here. First off, a shout out to the Tucson local band and our dear friends, the Hot Chicks. They just released their new album, Nuclear Thoughts, so pick that up by going to their Facebook at the link below. Here's the link. Ooh, that's a nice link. Let me put that link up. Whoa, the link's up here now. Wow. I'm gonna cut that. Anyways, from there, you're on your own. Also, I edited one of their shows, which was pretty cool, so go to their YouTube to check that out. Anyways, plowing ahead, we made some more videos to watch the pep rally. Uh, I messed that up. Anyways, plowing ahead, we made some more videos, so check out the pep rally from a few weeks back, which is edited real nicely and such. Ooh, it's really nice. Then the longer cut of the tennis match and the full art showcase, which is it was really good. It was really good. I recommend it. I was there. I was there, and I recommend it. You watch it. Check those out on YouTube right now. For random events that we didn't cover, there was some kind of alumni volleyball tournament where old people that used to attend the school played each other and had lots of fun and all that kind of stuff. Also, Mesa won some awards for building stuff, which is pretty gnarly. And of course, who can forget about our oh un <sighs> And of course, who can forget about our oh so unforgettable sports program? We uh we did uh we did alright. Anyways, good job to our AP testers. I'm sure those time test skills will come in handy when you're a doctor or whatever later in life. Because we all know that time tests are essential to our futures. Anyways, seniors. Seniors! Uh, 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 uh. That sums up my year. Check back for more videos within the next few weeks. Thanks for watching. Yada yada. You guys are good people. Oh, man. On to the uh, final schedules. On Tuesday, you go to 5th period from 7.20 a.m. to 9.20 a.m., then a 10-minute break, then 6th period from 9.35 a.m. to 11.35 a.m. On Wednesday, you go to 1st period from 7.20 a.m. to 9.20 a.m., 10-minute break, then the 2nd period from 9.35 a.m. to 11.35 a.m. Thursday is 3rd period from 7.20 a.m. to 9.20 a.m. after your 10-minute pee break, of course. It's 4th period from 9.35 a.m. to 11.35 a.m. Why it's in this order, I don't know, nor do I think the people who organize it know. But anyways, have fun with that. I'll be waking, uh, oh, I messed it up. I uh, had it going. I'll be walking on the podium with my little piece of paper. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. That wasn't good. I gotta go. I'm out here. I'm out here. I'ma chill with this iPad in my hand and mess with these instruments so I find my jam. Yes, because I don't normally do this, but when I still freestyle, I act so foolish, man. You see that trigger? I'm gonna pull it. Rich, I'm talking about my lyrics. Yes, in case you hear it, cause I was native, so I got the spirit up in me. Yes, like a kidneys in my head cause I keep that flow going. Yes, cause I, <laughs> my flow is roaring up and down like a lion. Yes, you see me, I'm flying up to the top. Yes, I represent hip hop and flip flops because I rock them all day. I freestyle sometimes just to play around with my mind. Yes, I take my time and do it a little bit to practice every line. But this is freestyle and if you want to battle, then you'll get beat down and less than three rounds. Don't mess with me now, I kids I keep on jogging. Yes, see this flow, you ain't stopping because I'm... Flying like a rocket, yes, something smooth and sweet, like I'm chocolate, yes, 
I ain't talking about my skin color. Yes, cause I rap like there is no other. Cause I, oh brother, mother, whatever else that rhymes with that. Yes, so let me get back like I'm a Power Ranger. Yes, and I'll chew you like an now and later. Yes, and I'll bite you like an alligator. Cause these guys back here are just laughing. Man, while I'm here just gasping. You ain't hearing me loud, I need some captions up in this view. Yes, because turn it on like DVTV news. Dang, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it clean. <laughs> yes, keep it, but still mean. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, that's good. He's not a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. That's funny. If you like the show, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tweet, tumble, share, favorite, text, email, and fax. Whatever you hip youngsters are into nowadays. If you'd like to be featured on any of our segments like DB Tunes or Campus Canvas, just email us at DesertViewTV at gmail.com and we'll get back to you. Want your club or group featured? Send us those emails. Have questions or requests? Just email us. Want to leave us feedback? Email us. Want to be a part of the Desert View television team? Seriously, just email us. Look, at, I'm figuratively pointing at it. Look, it's our email. Like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash DesertViewTV. Also, subscribe to us at YouTube.com slash user slash TV. That's youtube.com slash user, U-S-E-R, at TV. Support us by watching and sharing it to all your friends, your beautifully handsome friends. Stay in school and uh, get good grades and all that classical jazz. And don't do drugs, that stuff's freaking lame. Like this script. Go Jaguars, way better than those other guys. You know who they are, and they know who they are.